Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play 6180 The Moon, most relaxing game in the world. In the last episode, we got through Reverse Mercury, now we're going to go for Reverse Venus. Venus looks up from her mirror. Where are you going to? You've met the sun, I presume? Yes, it will be night again soon. I am journeying to meet him again. The Earthmen like the sun better than you, do they not? Still, they pray their wishes to me, not the sun. That is true. After all, light only brings darkness. Sometimes this text goes way too th fast for me. Thank you and see you later. See you later, Venus. Right, so here we are, V10. And I think that now... Oh, achievement unlocked, Venus again. So here we are on Venus again. I would imagine now that we are going to start speeding up something fierce here. Um, this one might be a little bit tricky. It seems like the 10 levels are always the trickiest to get through and then it, it speeds up at a nice pace, but once we're, once we're through this... Oh, nearly. I got the second ball, but I couldn't activate it fast enough. Once we're through this, we should be... Oh, oh no, that was wrong. Once we're through this, we should be golden, and we can just speed along to what is going to be coming to the to the end here. Yeah, like we do. It does seem like we do have to hit all three light balls though in order to to get the the ending or to get through this little mini gauntlet here. Maybe we can do it if we just like do some crazy. No, you can't do it if you don't get a crazy jump, and we didn't quite hit the light ball. That's okay. We're only a minute in. And, again, I presume that this is going to be the hardest puzzle of them all to, to solve. Because it's just, like, to do with these light balls. Once you actually, like, hit the timing correctly and you hit all three, then we'll just be on the, the easier levels. They will be upside down, of course, but they'll still be a lot easier than Mercury. Even if they are. Right, so let's jump here. Ball, ball. Ah, oh, just a little bit too late. I keep thinking that I've got to, I've got to wait till the last minute. But you don't. You just gotta, you just gotta wait. Like not till the last minute. I was way too far off there. You've got to wait till not till the last minute. You've got to like activate it a lot earlier than you think you do. Oh, for a second I thought we could skip one. Maybe we can do it by skipping one if, if worst comes to worst, which I think we probably could. Let's actually try something here. Oh, oh! I think we can actually do it without having to go through this gauntlet, guys. This would be so much easier if we don't have to go through this gauntlet. So let's like bounce and bounce there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, but we can't, we can't get up there. Wait a minute, we can't get up there because it's reversed. How do we... Hmm. Level 10's got you stumped again, hasn't it, Sparrow? Yeah. Level 10's got me stumped again. Because how are we supposed to get through if there is a spike? Because we're not going the right way up this time. I mean, obviously, the guys that made this game have already thought of this. It's not like, I mean, yes, it is the levels backwards, but they have already taken into account the fact that you're upside down, even if it is the same obstacles. And that's something that I am finding quite entertaining about this, that it works even both ways. Like, you would think that it would only work a single way, but it works both ways, which I'm, I'm finding quite, quite clever here. So I'm going to try doing my thing again where I skip them, and then, like, try and bounce over this one. And I think I... For a second I thought I actually heard someone calling me, but... That's okay, so let's bounce, fly... Oh yes, there you go. So we don't need that, right? It's gonna start speeding up now. Uh, once we've got... Once we crack this... Hell, they're loud, aren't they? Oh, we're gonna... I, I predict it will speed up. Once we have solved this puzzle, which we have, now that we're on Venus 9, I imagine this is where it starts rolling 
beautifully all the way to the end here. So once we are free, we drop on that one, and we'll just slowly drop our way through these. That was terrible on my part, I will admit. But you gotta like take the top one, I believe, or the bottom one, either one. I, mean, I don't particularly want to do what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna wait for both blocks to to drop, and then. We will land on that one. Okay, we'll do the same again. There is like quite a bit of momentum when I land on the block. So the block has dissipated. We died. That's fine. So let's try that again. Bounce up. Get stuck in the wall. That's alright. That's what we want to achieve. And then with this we can roll down onto that second one there. And then we can perform jump once more when this dissipates. Please, oh, the blocks didn't disappear fast enough. It's okay. Well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. We're not gonna do it this way. Maybe Venus is getting harder. Maybe I was talking bullshit that the levels would get easier and we're on the wind down here. It's all right though. Oh. Yep, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now we can actually like wait. Wait for it. Jump, and then that should disappear. Oh, this was not what I anticipated, but there's the checkpoint at least. There is the checkpoint. Now we've just got to jump left, and we're at six minutes, so we'll at least get maybe two levels done in this this first section, or this first yeah, this first section of recording due to a hard drive issue I'm currently having right now, where for whatever reason, no matter how much data I clear off it, it's continuously staying at 5 gigabytes. I mean, the C drive wasn't originally going to be for this, but Camtasia seems to record for the C drive. So I'm thinking, like, I might have to upgrade to a terabyte C drive as well as a terabyte E drive, which I'd have no problems with. And that's another reason why I'm trying to, like, clear through all of our current games in order to be able to carry over... That's what I'm looking for. Carry over as less as possible, because like if I have to carry over Steam data, like trying to transfer your save file and Isaac was such a pain in the ass. So I would prefer if I did not have to do that. But it's fine. It's fine. We made it to the checkpoint. We're coming up to the eight-minute mark, and we are through. So. That will be our stopping point for our first part, and then we'll get back into it momentarily. Alright, so, next on the agenda is the invisible blocks. Good, that's fine. Can we, so if we stand here, this will just allow us to land on it, and then we jump very carefully through. And this one, you jump over. Oh yes, I remember this. I remember this. This is actually really easy now. See, I think, like, the levels, because they are reversed, do... <laughs> that was my own fault. But the levels, like, do start hard and get easier as you go on. This is probably, like, a tricky one. That's not going to be good. <laughs> I thought I landed on top of it, but clearly I did not. Oh, no. So, I know what we've got to do. We got stuck inside of it, start again. I know what we've got to do, we've got to jump over this first one and land on the second one, so it's got to be like this, and then down, then you got to wait, get on it, roll, wait, get on it, roll, wait, I'm not going yet. It's back, get on it, thing, hello. Hello? Oh, oh, get back on it. Ah, uh, yes, I will, please. And then, roll! Oh, no, we didn't make that. We didn't quite make that. Jump. There you go. Oh. Barrier disappeared just a little bit faster, so jump. No, nope, not yet. How long will it be? Yeah, alright, that's fine. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. 
Ah, nice. Nice. Well, I don't know if you all heard that, but that's what we're having to eat tonight. Right. Jump! And jump! And wait, 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 wait. Get on it. Oh, I did I mistimed that. I mean, we did have a little bit of a stop there because... Wait, it's back. Oh, and you know what I'm doing? I'm pressing it while we're in the middle. So, let's see if we can actually time this correctly. The yeah, you see, it's, it's very easy to time correctly. Just don't like push when you're in the middle. Oh, that works as well. Now we should start speeding along. Oh, just more fallen stars. Yeah, this is easy. We, we just did like the harder version of the fallen stars in Mercury. So, Spyro, of course, saying that we just did the harder fallen stars in Mercury goes and jumps straight into the falling star. Oh yes, I remember this. This is the one where you have to jump halfway through. I think we can actually probably cheese it a little bit if we did this and got stuck. Oh, it doesn't respawn fast enough. I thought I could cheese it a little bit. That's okay. No, I think what you're supposed to do here, if I remember, is that. There you go. And we just jump and we're in. Boom! Once again, speeding along. Oh yes, I remember this. You've got to be like... You've got to be like... Boom! Grease lightning. And then just roll to the end. destroyed. This one's actually really easy. Because then when you get back on here, you can do your jump through. But we need these to dissipate first, and then we're gonna jump up and then oh nearly. But you gotta jump up and slide down. Four minutes, we are going to we are going to absolutely waste through this. You know we could try and be a little bit braver by trying to push forwards once we've broken only a few blocks. I don't know how brave we want to be though. Do you really want to try that? Because apparently you're failing, Spyro. Why don't you just do the normal jump? Ah, well, you know, we tried. I wanted to see if we could at least try, but it seems like you can not try. Sorry. So we're going to knock them all out. Knock them all out. And then we're going to push it at the correct point in time. Oh, this is going to be so hard to time, because I've got to do it. While the block is activated, and that's going to be hard. So let's just... And push! Oh, I've got to land on top of that block. Don't do this to us, we're so close. You know, we, we did seven minutes before. Make this the other seven minute video. Oh, it disappeared just before we could get on it. Please make this like another 20 minute video. If we can just do every world within 20 minutes, that would be like perfect so we wouldn't have to split any world into two parts. But obviously that might not be possible. We will see. So we're going to go now. A little bit too high. Last jump, obviously the hardest jump. Just to be a dick to me, but hey, that's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Jump! I'm not going up there in time. Gotta like jump when this block is up. So we're gonna jump now. Land. There we go. We did it. We're in. We are in. V4. Oh god, I remember this one. I remember this one. This one is the. This one is the S9 one. Where you gotta be like. Jump downwards to jump upwards, if you know what I mean. And it's it's like to do with um, motion, where you've just gotta you've gotta press it correctly. You gotta fall, and then fall into the checkpoint. And then you are supposed to roll along that bottom bit. Drop and roll onto this checkpoint and get hit by the spikes. 
Oh yes, this is upside down. This is upside down, but there you go. Just jump through it nice and easy. And then you just gotta go boop and boop and grab the solar unit. Now would this be a lot easier? I'm trying to think here. Would this be a lot easier with the nearly with the upside downness? And I think the answer to our question there is yes. We've just got to time this right so that we have enough run as possible when that happens. Like, what happens if we do this? Yeah, there you go. There you go. In, plant it in. And we just got V2. Ups and over. Oh no. Not up and over. It's got to be up and over. We just can't go any other way. We just probably didn't get enough air time. We're at 8 minutes on V2. So we're going to just make sure recording doesn't crash. And then we're going to finish Venus off. And that'll be another beautiful 20 minute video. Right. So. Jump, ping, and fall in. Perfect. Probably could have kept it running for those few amount of seconds that we needed. So this one, I believe that we don't actually need to do it till then. And then, you just gotta be like, oop, and, oh no. We, we did this in like 20 seconds, I feel stupid for actually activating the video the way I activated it like oh yeah it's gonna take us like three minutes to do this and it's like actually spare it. it took you like two minutes it's like oh you're right you're right it only took me 40 seconds and that's this Venus done I kind of feel like a fool 618 you made me feel like a fool but I can't stay mad at you you're so beautiful you're such a good game this needs to be ported to like the everywhere PlayStation 4 Wii U Photon, I want you to play this crimson. To play this, I want you to understand how relaxing this beautiful game is. That's why I can't, I can't be, I can't be energetic because it's like I want to be energetic, nice and spurred, but it's like and chill, relax, mellow out. You can't, you can't be energetic. Relax, mellow, calming, serene orchestra. Right, you are right. I, I can't. So uh, yeah, <laughs> if it's that serene, how about we take a nice serene trip back through Earth in the next episode? So thank you all for watching this episode of Six One Zero The Boom. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like. If you're enjoying this most relaxing series, feel free to subscribe, and I will see all of you in the next one.